Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, if the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters above a lake is alpha and the angle of depression of its reflection in the lake is beta, prove that the distance of the cloud from the point of observation is 2h sec alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha. So in this figure, suppose this line xy denotes the base or the level of the ground. A person is standing h meters above the lake and is making an angle of alpha watching this cloud. Now, suppose this distance BB be equal to capital H meters and the height at which the observer is standing is h meters above the level of the lake. Now, here the distance CP dash is equal to the distance PC since, since the image of an object below the sea level is equal to the image of the object above the sea level. So, if this is small h meters, this is capital H meters. So, the distance CP dash will be capital H plus small h meters. Let's now start with the solution. Now, in triangle A, P, B, we have B, P divided by A, P is equal to sine alpha, which implies that H divided by A, P is equal to sine alpha, or we have A, P is equal to H divided by sine alpha. Let us denote this by equation number 1. We have to prove that the distance of the cloud from the point of observation is 2h sec alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha. That is we have to prove that the distance AP is equal to 2h sec alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha. Now here we have assumed that PB is equal to capital H meters, BC is equal to small h meters, therefore CP dash is equal to the distance PB plus BC, that is capital H plus small h meters, since the distance of an object above the sea level is equal to the distance of an object below the sea level. Now let us consider triangle. A, P, P dash. Now in triangle A, B, P dash, we have B, P dash divided by A, B is equal to tan beta. Now B, P dash is the distance B, C plus C, P dash. Now B, C is H and C, P dash is H plus small h. So we have H plus 2 times of small h divided by AB is equal to tan beta. And again if we see triangle APB, then here PB divided by AB is equal to tan alpha. So this implies that AB is equal to PB divided by tan alpha. So here we have capital S plus 2 times of small h is equal to AB into tan beta and AB is PB divided by tan alpha into tan beta. Now let us substitute the value of PB which is capital H. So we have H plus 2H is equal to capital H into tan beta divided by tan alpha. So this implies that 2H is equal to capital H into tan beta divided by tan alpha minus 1 or we have capital H equal to 2H into tan alpha whole divided by tan beta minus tan alpha and let this be 
equation number 2. Now we have to show that AP is equal to 2H sec alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha. So let us substitute the value of capital H in equation number 1. So substituting the value of capital H in equation number 1. We have AP is equal to H divided by sin alpha and capital H is 2H tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha and this divided by sin alpha. And this is equal to 2H tan alpha is sin alpha divided by cos alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha this divided by sin alpha. And this is equal to 2H divided by cos alpha since sin alpha cancels out with sin alpha. And in the denominator we have tan beta minus tan alpha. And this is equal to 2H sec alpha whole divided by tan beta minus tan alpha. Therefore we have AP is equal to 2H sec alpha whole divided by tan beta minus tan alpha. And thus we have proved that the distance of the cloud from the point of observation is 2H sec alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.